So that period of working as a chef, hmm. uh, not doing anything creative, how did that? How do you think that contributed to your resurgence? It, like your creative, like you, you kind of you kind of talk about it like a it just burst out of you all this. Well, sort of well it literally did. I mean, I did one piece of artwork in that five or six year period when I when I was chefing. And it had no connection to anything I'd done before and way more connection to what I actually did in the future, which was very interesting. It's like I just did one piece. I've still got it. And it was very strange. And it was almost like, you know, part of me, you know, you can call it, I'd call it the muse now or whatever, that energy. Now, as you get older, you think it's more and more something's coming through you. It was like, it was going, look, you, you can do this. This is where you're meant to be going. You got some shit you have to work out. You're not being responsible for yourself. You're not you know, taking any action in your own life. And so then, you know, I had a girlfriend at the time who, you know, she was instrumental in kind of cracking me open. Then I had this friend do this. She gave me a full body massage, like really deep tissue massage. And she was very, you know, kind of connected and very good at it. Had some huge emotional reactions. I remember going home, tried to do a drawing and it was just, you know, this, I was very into fantasy work and stuff as a teenager, Dungeons and Dragons, all internal imagery, very realistic finished drawing style, but really fantasy. Um, and I tried doing this drawing and it was this, you know, this fantasy drawing. I couldn't do it. And I remember just going, I could feel this, you know, this frustration, this energy. And I remember like, I think I got some crowns out and I just started thinking my mum used to do just like expressive drawings and see what happens. And I just remember just just grinding these crayons in and more and more energy was coming out. And I, I was just like, just, you know, just like this coming through me. I mean, it was the day after the massage, I was in St. Kilda. I went out for a rollerblade, and just burnt off all this energy. And then like, the next day I did a drawing and I was drawing what was in front of me. Maybe it was a still life. And I was doing it in this completely abstract style. Absolutely the opposite of what I was doing before. And from then on, it was just like experimentation. And it was just like this hose had been turned on inside me. It was crazy. What just do you think crazy. happened? What? She unlocked something in me. I don't know what it was. I remember I had a big heart reaction. You know, I was definitely holding a lot in. And I remember there was a that little point there. She pressed there on my arm. And I remember like this. And, and, and it was like, it was on. It whacked. 